Hello and welcome to the Grand Line Review, your source for everything One Piece, and today we have some more big news from the world of the internet. And this has to do with the ever fiery topic about the end of One Piece, although this time around we have some more tantalizing information and revelations to digest regarding the final conflict of One Piece, which is set to make Marineford look like a mere squabble. This video is going to be a bit less straightforward than most though, because we were given this information in various waves through a fair few online sources, each of whom added clarification, content, text and their own interpretation. And actually, depending on which source you read, you may have a completely different impression of Oda's words, and I think it's very, very important that we're all on the same page as much as possible. And so to assist in that effort, I'd also recommend that we all get on the same page by subscribing to the Grand Line Review for regular One Piece content uploaded straight into your YouTube feed. And you know what? More amazing news. We just hit a quarter of a million of you amazing Grand Fleet members, which yes, is ridiculous, but sure, why not? Let's keep going and become big enough to interview Oda himself Himself, because I do think that would help clear up quite a bit here. So onwards with this insane information, this comes to us courtesy of the SBS of volume 97, in which we have a fan asking Oda if it's true that the serialization of One Piece will end in five years time. Now this has become quite a famous, albeit unreliable number, which has been a stated goal by both Oda and editorial staff in the past. And it does seem as if their genuine drive is to have One Piece finished in that time frame. That is far from confirmation that it will happen though. I mean, for example, we've had this five year time frame put on us for about two years now. So the fact that we're still talking about it as if it's five years and not four or three is something to question in and of itself. But here we have Oda directly facing this question of five years and his answer is quite fascinating. Now the first translation of this that I saw hitting the internet was from Soulstorm, which gave Oda's answer as the following. The most exciting part of Luffy's adventure is over. The Wano arc is reaching its climax. After Wano Kuni, I will draw the biggest war in manga history. It will be very exciting, which I think is probably one of the most hype statements that has ever been circulated regarding One Piece, but I want to stop your wild imaginations right here and now, because there is a lot about this translation that is blatantly wrong, including the two seemingly key takeaways being that the most exciting part of Luffy's adventure is over, and that Oda will be drawing the biggest war in manga history. And in fact, the only reason why I include this tweet in the video is to give context to those of you who saw it, as well as to those of you who are very, very confused as to why some other One Piece fans are making these statements. It is because of this. And also just to admit, you know, my bad for retweeting it. I have terrible, terrible self-control when I say these kinds of things. But a more accurate translation was put up on the One Piece Reddit, which also expands on the original question asked, although it doesn't add any necessary context. It is still asking Oda if One Piece will end in five years with the answer this time around being. By ending, I mean the juiciest part of Luffy's adventure, since that's when the mystery of what is the One Piece is to be revealed. Right now, Wano is heating up. If Luffy is able to leave here in, one Piece, we'll get to a development that will engulf the entire world, the likes of which no one has read before. The greatest war in One Piece history. I said what I said so that the reader's hearts will be prepared, since it'll be such a long arc, and one that really pins things towards the finish line. That being said, I'm really enjoying writing Wano right now, and am pumped to finishing it. And yes, that last line does give me some pause for thought with the misspelling of writing and the whole pumped to finishing it thing. But all right, this changes things significantly, which is why I want to have the context of the first translation. Skipping the first line for a second, because as you'll see, that's the most contentious of all. The big takeaway from this is that Oda is claiming that after Wano, he will be drawing the greatest war in One Piece history, not manga history as was claimed previously. However, with that said, being the greatest war in One Piece history may very well make it the greatest in manga history by default. Either way, doesn't matter because that's not what Oda said. And while the concept of a huge war is nothing new to us, confirmation here is quite helpful. Mostly because there are a huge segment of the fan base who have taken previous statements about a war greater than that of Marineford as being the events of Wano, which I'm honestly not quite sure how that got misinterpreted, but there is a strong belief in that somehow. So no, Wano is not the war that is being talked about to be clear. Although one nice piece of speculation is thinking about the idea of exactly what one Piece history refers to. Will it be the greatest war in history in terms of series serialization, or is Oda referring to the narrative history of the One Piece planet? Basically, will this come to eclipse the events of the Void Century, whereby the 20 kingdoms came together to overthrow the Ancient Kingdom? So, so many questions. And now let's address the big one here being the whole first sentence, which the Reddit translation would say that in five years time, the quote unquote juiciest part of Luffy's adventure will be over, which would imply that One Piece itself would continue past that five year time frame, however, the core of the journey would be over. And an example of what that could mean would be, say, Luffy having found the One Piece, becoming the Pirate King, and then having a final arc of 
wrap up or something to do afterwards, which I think is a very reasonable thought. I don't think we're going to find the One Piece and then just say the end. There is almost certainly still going to be unfinished business once the One Piece is found. And as stated, this idea is contested with differing interpretations of that first sentence. So for another perspective, let's now turn to a translation of the answer by the Library of Ohara, also known as Arta. Correct. Rather than wanting to stop, it's that the series will end because the most exciting part of Luffy's adventure being the story of what is the One Piece will come to its conclusion. Things are heating up in Wano country right now, but if Luffy can set sail from here safely, then there will be developments on a global scale. A thrilling story, the likes of which no one has ever read before. I'll draw the greatest battle ever in One Piece history. It will be exciting. In other words, I made such a statement so that readers could be mentally prepared to understand that even a story as long as this one is properly heading towards its end. That said, for now, just take your time and enjoy Wano while it's hot. I'll be drawing with all of my strength. So once again, we're three translations in and we now have a very different takeaway to work with here. The whole part about the greatest war and such is still all well and good, but Arta here would interpret that first sentence to be a conclusive end to the series rather than an end to the core of the series, if I'm making sense. And here is where rather unfortunately, I don't have a great answer to land on for you. My level of Japanese is best described as kindergarten. So I certainly don't possess the necessary skill to interpret this myself. Even if I did though, I'm not too sure how much it would help. So we're going to examine two more sources with intimate knowledge of Nihongo to maybe clear this up. The first of which is Ohara, who is not the library of Ohara, I will stress. One is a big room of books and the other is an anthropomorphic fox. There's a big difference. In any case, here's what he had to say in response to his library counterpart. I disagree with your interpretation of this. While I agree that the first line translates that way, I think the tone really suggests that this part of the story will be over, heavily implying that there will be more. And what ensued was a semi-long Twitter thread with the two of them actually clarifying that the Japanese, as is often the case, was quite deliberately ambiguous and there is nothing that can solidly be taken from it. Only interpretations in either that, Oda intends One Piece as a whole to end in this time frame, or that Oda intends for the most exciting part of One Piece to have happened by then, not necessarily the end of the series. So you know what, for the final word on this, we're going to turn to Greg, who is generally the most trustworthy source on both Japanese and One Piece, and particularly the combination of the two. And at this point, I should say, sorry that this video is just me kind of reading various translations and tweets, but it's a pretty massive topic and there is a lot of room for nuance. And I definitely don't think I'd be doing it justice to provide just one perspective. But basically the conclusion Greg comes to is agreeing with the idea that Oda genuinely wants to end the series within five years, although Greg goes on to strongly doubt how feasible this is, as I think we all do. And here's a lovely tweet that sums it up quite well. My two yen. Yeah, no, nah, seven years, bruh. If he's already backtracking the five year thing, lol, he'll be too tempted to hit 30th anniversary unless something drastic occurs on a personal level. And Greg also goes on to say, I've heard what the series wrap up is supposed to, or was supposed to, include, and it's all quite ambitious. I can't see everything coming together in such a time frame but hey, who knows? One thing for sure, not Oda, at least not yet. And while no one except Greg himself can really judge the accuracy of that last part, I do tend to trust his judgment, which in a weird way kind of exonerates both sides of the argument. People who believe that the plan is to end the series in five years, well, you're right. That is indeed the general idea. And then for the people who say that the series is going to last longer for whatever reason, well, congratulations, you are also right. Probably. In the end though, I think most of us win from that second option being the case. I mean, I personally have been following the series for almost half of my total life now. So the idea of it ending at all ever presents something of an empty void that I'm very much not looking forward to. But there is an awful lot to get through before that thought even comes close to being a reality. Because to circle back to that second piece of big news there, this great war is something to be very excited for. Like we can well and truly see the world falling apart in this current series of events. And I feel like the end of Wano is going to be that final push of instability that the world needs to be thrust into this one grand conflict. With two of the four emperors out of the picture, that's going to leave quite the mighty vacuum. And also something that isn't being played up about this answer is that Oda is warning us well in advance that this is going to be a gigantic and long affair, which is quite an amazing statement in comparison to Wano, which is already on the cusp of becoming the most massive arc ever attempted in One Piece with no real signs of ending anytime soon. Which does mean that as much as we may be super hyped for this final 
final Great War thing, it is in and of itself going to take a long time to do. So I suspect that even once we get into it, there will be pacing complaints from weekly readers and watchers like never before. Although I don't know, I remember reading Marineford Weekly and just about every single chapter was a powerhouse experience. So much to talk about and digest, even though it was purely action. Not a huge amount of revelations and theories to discuss, just a lot of raw content and a culmination of everything that the series had been building up towards to that point. So I have no doubt that it will be enjoyable in much the same way that Wano is enjoyable, although a bit slow at times. Although you know what, I guess the other fear does also exist, that there will be so much to wrap up that things seem to fall into place just a little bit too quickly. You know, it's a constant struggle with One Piece, sometimes too slow, sometimes too fast, but for the most part, Oda manages to find that balance pretty damn well, at least up until this point. In any case, this is your semi-comprehensive guide to what should have been a very simple question to answer, but turned out to leave us in the same vat of vague darkness that we all already inhabited. But what do you guys think? Please do let me know in the comments below what you and join my Discord server. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, then please do go and check out some of my other content or even subscribe to the channel for more glorious One Piece business uploaded straight into your YouTube feeds. But for now, this has been the Grand Line Review and I'll see you next time.